Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that US ban on Huawei. In recent years, the United States has imposed rounds of chip sanctions on Huawei. Fortunately, Huawei was not knocked down by these sanctions. Because of these sanctions, Huawei began to explore some ways to break through the sanctions. US sanctions have helped Huawei turn into a more powerful world tech giant to some extent. Huawei's supply chain has undergone great changes over the years, leading to huge adjustments in mobile phones, chips, and other businesses. On the one hand, Huawei will not give up the development of the mobile phone business, on the other hand, it will always support the high silicon team. With the adjustment of Huawei, the problems in the supply chain have been greatly improved. What progress has Huawei made in its adjustments? What is the effect of Huawei's diversification of business? Huawei actively adjusts the source of the product supply chain. Many of Huawei's businesses are based on global development, purchasing components from global suppliers through division of labor and cooperation. Take chips as an example. Huawei's high silicon semiconductor department is responsible for chip design, and the manufacturing work is handed over to TSMC. However, under market rules, the cooperative relationship between Huawei and TSMC has changed and the design chips cannot enter the production line, so Huawei chose to purchase chips from Qualcomm, and only the 4G version. Chips are an important part of the mobile phone business, but apart from chips, Huawei has placed most of its procurement channels in China, either relying on independent research and development or cooperating with domestic suppliers. Take the Mate 50 series of mobile phones as an example the degree of localization is very high. From the Harmony OS operating system at the software level, to the screen, glass, panel, frame, RF front end, etc. in the hardware field, all technologies come from domestic suppliers. The lens system also uses Huawei's self-developed Xmage imaging brand. We can all see that Huawei has solved all the problems that can be solved and even the problem of 5G network as 5G communication shell as a solution. Huawei is actively responding to the supply chain, and the effect is remarkable. Shouldn't it be licensed? In fact, Huawei CEO Yu Chengdong has already stated his position, saying that Huawei mobile phones have begun to come back, which has greatly solved the problem of the supply chain and consumers can basically buy mobile phones if they want to buy them. Huawei has made huge adjustments to its mobile phone, chip and other businesses, behind which it actively responds to the supply chain, so it can greatly improve the supply chain problems. So what progress has Huawei made in its adjustments? Look at the mobile phone business first. According to market statistics, in the first three quarters of this year, Huawei's global smartphone shipments were 8.6 million units, a year-on-year -year increase of 48.3%, ranking 10th in the world. Although there is still room for improvement from the top three in the world at its peak, being able to return to the top 10 in the world shows that Huawei's mobile phone business is indeed improving. If Huawei can maintain this growth trend, I believe it will be able to achieve a higher ranking in the future. Followed by the chip business. Huawei participates in chip R&D and design through its high silicon semiconductor department, focusing on basic research and exploring various cutting-edge chip technologies. High silicon has been established and developed for 18 years. It has launched Kirin, Kuimpeng, Balong, and other series chips for Huawei, corresponding to smartphone SoC, server, and baseband. These are just the tip of the iceberg of high silicon series chips. In the broad chip exploration project, high silicon has brought Huawei patented technologies in optical computing chips, 
chip stacking, and superconducting quantum chips. High Silicon has a team of 7,000 people. Even if the market changes, High Silicon still maintains normal recruitment activities and project research. Some foreign media said that Huawei does not need Maxic because the chip stacking and superconducting quantum chips explored by Huawei are all cutting-edge chip fields for the future, and they do not need the technical support of the United States, and they can also implement related research results. Industrialization Just like chip stacking, the concept is to stack and combine two chips with advanced packaging technology to form a brand new system on a chip. No need for traditional advanced process support, even two mature chips can double the energy efficiency after stacking and combining. When the advanced packaging industry matures in the future, I believe this part of the research will have practical application value and significance, and Huawei will also have the opportunity to use stacked chip products in equipment to improve its competitive advantage. What is the effect of Huawei's diversification of business? Smartphones are an important part of Huawei's business, but not everything. Huawei needs to establish a more stable revenue system, so it will not invest all its resources in the mobile phone industry. In order to improve its ability to obtain cash flow and net profit, Huawei has launched a diversified business layout. So what is the effect? In terms of software operating systems, Huawei's self-developed Harmony OS has achieved a major ecological breakthrough. The number of Huawei's own equipment equipped with Harmony OS has exceeded 320 million units. There are at least 570 million Harmony OS devices on the Internet. This is already a great improvement for a nascent operating system. In addition, in terms of smart cars, Huawei cooperates with car companies to build cars. Huawei provides ICT technology solutions, and car companies are responsible for connecting the industrial chain. While helping auto companies build good cars, they are also helping auto companies sell good cars. Among them, the delivery volume of M-Series of Wenjie has maintained a steady growth. With the sales of smart cars, it can make up for the lack of sales of smartphones to a certain extent. In terms of 5G, Huawei provides high-quality 5G solutions to enterprise users and vigorously explores the market potential of 5G to be business. Huawei has won at least 3,000 5G to be orders. Communication giants such as Ericsson and Nokia are still fighting for orders from operators, while Huawei has distributed 5G to all walks of life. On the whole, Huawei's demand for licensing is not so high. As Yu Chengdong said, it has greatly solved the problem of the supply chain. Behind the solution to the problem is actually Huawei's own efforts. As the saying goes, no pains, no gains, Huawei's efforts will be rewarded accordingly. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message below to share. Thank you.